How's it going everybody? It is your favorite dingus, Simon Smalls Potter, here in Johnson County, Kansas for Old Settlers, the festival that goes on here at the beginning of every September. And now we're gonna go and check out the festivities, booths, and all the crazy things that this little festival has to offer. But first, a quick history lesson. One of the first people to settle here was a Virginia physician, Dr. John Barton, who turned out to be quite the scumbag because he left Kansas when it decided to be a free state instead of a slave state. The town was named Olathe after the Shawnee term meaning beautiful. More people moved to the town and it also became a base for abolitionists like the Civil War's Rambo, John Brown, because it was so close to the border of Kansas and Missouri. After the Civil War in 1898, the Johnson County Old Settlers Association was formed to celebrate the art, culture, and the rich history of this city. My name is Joe Robinson. I'm also known as Papa Joe. This will be my second year here at Old Settlers. And I basically started this as an idea for making toys for my grandkids. So I started woodworking when I was about eight years old. You know, there's a short story that goes along with that that my, my mom said I'm the first one that ever sawed the bunk beds in half in our house. And that actually happened. I'm a U.S. Navy submarine service veteran. I started by making some plaques for myself to commemorate my time in service. And I was making them for friends, started sending them out. At a point it reached that I was spending a lot of money, my wife decided I needed to sell them. And that's how this all got started. From my military plaques, I decided to do public service plaques, fire department, police service badges and such. When we added our fifth high school here in Olathe, I decided I'd commemorate the Olathe high schools by doing plaques for them. And then this year as a special, I decided I would make game boards and so now I've got aggravation, Chinese checkers, cribbage, and some others. The idea that people were telling me that I needed to share what I do. And so I, I took a gamble last year and brought it out and uh, sold quite a few pieces. So it told me I needed to come back again this year. Papa Joe's Project Shop is local in Olathe. Um, I have a web page, which is papajoesprojectshop.com and my Facebook page, which is under uh, PJPS Olathe, uh, at Facebook there. Perfect exposure. If I was an artist who made music, I'd be asked to do something for exposure, and I would say no because it's my art, and I deserve to get paid for it. Yes. Hi, my name is Tim, my last name is Brennan. I'm from O'Fallon, Missouri. How many years have you come to Old Settlers? Over eight years. This idea of spreading my artwork around for people that have it, keeping prices at a reasonable rate so people can buy, you know, anybody can buy them. They're coming here in the open air and the parade on Saturday. The whole atmosphere of this craft show, it's really nice. And that's why we keep on coming back. I just let everybody here does a really good job and really enjoy being treated nicely and professionally with what we do. So the festivities haven't started yet really for uh, the carnival area, the festival carnival, whatever it is. But uh, we went over to the booths today. It was pretty fun. Uh, this is a three-day event, so we have a lot more to go. All right, so my camera's really low right now, but I didn't feel like raising it up, so I'm a little lazy, as you can tell. But this is a, a carousel with cars. Isn't that pretty cool? Nice. Good. So, yeah. we're here today to talk about Church of the Harvest, and I personally think it's the greatest church ever because when you go there, nobody judges you. You get to be exactly who you want to be. It's very transparent. We have about 35 different um, uh, nationalities. And so I say it's a church that has a lot of flavor. Yeah, yeah and I think the great thing about Old Settlers is that we as a church body get to go out into the community and meet people and share with them about our church and what it means to us. And if they don't have a church home, we invite them. Or if they need 
prayer. We have prayer cards. Okay. We have something for everybody. Tattoos Water, for the little candy, girls. Yeah. Yes. And I pray your blessing upon his new business and upon his creativity. Yes, yes. In yeah. the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Really didn't expect that to happen. Well, it was nice. They prayed for me. Prayed that my career goes well. Oh, so I'm I'm John Thielen from the Knights of Columbus at Prince of Peace here in Olathe. For old settlers, we've been doing this for approximately about 15 or so years. We've been in the same spot and doing the same thing every year. What do you guys usually do? Uh, we uh, what we're known for are the pan fried tacos. So it's just a regular. We make tacos a couple weeks in the past, and then uh, we just fry them up in some oil and and then serve them with uh, lettuce and cheese and some homemade salsa. Mm. Jesus, this is delicious. Oh. That guy right there, get that guy in the red hat. We do all the trash and the barricades for the parade. We work here from Thursday morning till Sunday and a lot of community service and teaching the boys about community service and just having a blast. I'm waiting for uh, for nighttime to fall and uh, when it does, you bet your bottom dollar that it's gonna be a wild time. I just found out that my face makes babies cry. So in line for funnel cake. Woohoo! I'm still in line for funnel cake. It's been like 20 minutes. I hope it's worth it. I like the funnest funnel cake you can give me. The funnel cake is gonna be made and then we're gonna get it and I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna enjoy it and it's gonna be fun because it's a funnel cake. gotten ourselves our funnel cake and now it's time to eat it. Look at this thing. You see this? This looks like diabetes in a, on a plate pretty much, but I'm gonna eat it and if I get diabetes then it is what it is. Jeez, this thing is a monster. Look at that. This is the funnest funnel cake they have. And so that's what I ordered and that's what I got. There's one fun funnel cake. I really regret it. <laughs> My buddy is rejecting it. I don't think I could eat any more of this funnel cake. Um, in fact, I feel like if I take another bite of it, I might vomit and have to be rushed to a hospital and filled with insulin. To the guys that made it, A plus, A plus, you did a good job. Really made it fun. Anybody want this fallen cake? I'm terrified of those things. I always feel like one of them is gonna fly off when I'm in it and I'm just gonna roll around in a cage like, you're trapped in a cage, okay? That is gonna do it for today's episode of uh, the Old Settlers Day Parade, uh, and Old Settlers, but tomorrow, uh, there's more festivities, and then the day after that, 
there's even more festivities. Like on Saturday, we have a parade to go to. So I'm excited for that. So everybody, tune in for the next episode. And the next episode after that is a three-part series. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and so you can get notified when the next episode's up and all that jazz. Supporting me is a fantastic thing, and if you want to support me even further, go ahead and donate to my Patreon account. It is in the description. And other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'm probably going to go throw up because of that funnel cake. See ya!